guy. I thought there was just somebody. Is he right there? I thought I just seen somebody in there. Are you serious? Like they behind a tree. I wouldn't get too close. <gasps> this is no! insane! Ooh, it just got so bright. Oh what? Can you turn it off? That's like a pretty, well I don't know if it's really. Look, Jody! What? It oh just lit up to red. God. Did it just go it, to red? Oh! oh! Can you do that for us again? Can you shut, the <gasps> Lise! Whoa! Are you serious? Get in here! I'm not coming in here! Wow, look at that little guy. He is so freaking cool. He is just chilling, literally. He's that cool. So this is the second gator, guys. This is the little guy. Everybody said that they think we should name him HTD for Jody. So here's little HTD gator. Look how cute he is. He's a little baby. But compared to that other guy, even, he's little. He's tiny. Wow, this is so cool. This is such a treat, guys. We're getting ready to head in for a nice birthday lunch. Let's go. Today is my birthday, and Lisa has brought me out for a delicious birthday lunch. We actually ate here yesterday for the very first time, and we were so impressed we decided to come back. So today we're gonna show you guys what we ordered. I decided to go with what Lisa got yesterday, which is a stuffed tomato. So, so good. We ended up getting the albacore tuna. So I'm gonna show that to you when it comes out. Look at this delicious soup that I just ordered. It's called Fiesta Chicken. It smells phenomenal. Ooh, look at that. It looks so good. What's behind you there, Lise? Oh my goodness. It's Christmas in June. This is, I guess, for the 4th of July. And probably Memorial Day. That's cool. How cool is that? I, I like idea. that. What a cool idea. We need to start doing that. Yeah. Instead of taking down the tree, you just decorate it for each right. holiday. I think that's such a cool idea. I think that is a good idea. So we were supposed to actually go to Disney today, guys, but we decided against it. I'd rather have an epic trip than just like a quick one day rush yeah. over, rush back in the same day trip. It's not too much. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So my stuffed tomato has arrived, guys. Look at this, this is fantastic looking. I'm ready to dig on in. They got that chunky blue cheese on there. Uh, there's some cucumbers. Lisa has already started her dining journey over here. How good is that? It's delicious. So I'm gonna go in, guys. I'm not a tuna person, but this is really good. Yeah, she had it two days in a row, so that tells you how good it is. Lisa just happened to mention that it was my birthday, and guys, look how awesome Jam's Cafe was to us. They gave us this awesome dessert tray. Look, we got, <laughs> I just totally dipped my fingers in it. <laughs> Let's start off with this one. We have the key lime pie, that's what we had yesterday it was so good and then I believe I believe this is like a lemon cake looks like lemon meringue oh I do Maybe. see meringue looking yes yeah that looks really good and then a delicious looking chocolate cake it's a layer cake too and good old-fashioned apple pie well if it has cinnamon that's good because cinnamon that's does, true does lower your blood cinnamon sugar. will bl lower your blood sugar so it kind of cancels out the sugar right mm. 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 <laughs> Very good. Oh my goodness. We can take this home, she said. Yeah. So we could spread it out and have a couple of bites every hour. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds mm, like a plan. Really good. What's going on, adventurers? We are so stoked for tonight. We've been talking about it, and tonight is the night. We've been saying we want to do Scaranoia. We're going to check out the Scaranoia app. I know a lot of you guys have checked it out already. It looks pretty awesome. And I have a feeling it's probably going to exceed all of the hype. So not only are we going to check out Scaranoia, but we're going to do it with the man himself. We got Jody. What's up, guys? So stoked to be here with the adventurers. We are going to turn stuff up a notch. Yeah. Look at this place that we're starting off, guys. Like this place. Pretty sure if you look up the word sketch, in the dictionary this is it i think this is probably the picture this is it it's the first picture you'll see <laughs> let's look over here real quick this is the first thing we noticed when we pulled up here guys there was like a a little stream ditch back there i said jody i wonder how many bodies are back there sketchiness is overwhelming Ooh, yeah i think it's time to go to our first place where are we headed jody what is uh, our first intention we're find something lost in the past we're gonna try to but uh I'm gonna get the app open right now. We're gonna use that intention and hopefully we can find something around here. Yeah, let's do it. Oh 
my god i just got the chills oh man. Uh, i got the chills i'm shaking here uh our intention is going to be something lost in the past so we're gonna hit intent let it load up here i guess a lot of people are using it at the moment probably not uh state your intention something lost in the past picture it in your mind so i kind of like to picture the place like what it's gonna look like or something you know okay like i have an idea of like something i don't know historic or something um and then it always wants you to focus Okay, guys, so I got us a location right now. I'm not going to show it for our privacy, for our protection, because you never know, man, when the hackers are going to get in here. Now, I don't have anybody else working for Scaranoia other than Keith, Chris, and me. That's it. There's three employees, so nobody should be stalking us. If they are stalking us, it's because they have hacked our phones and they are following us. Wow. That's pretty terrifying. That is terrifying. It is a very dangerous area. Um, there's actually a trail back there where they found somebody, somebody's texting me, um, where they found somebody's dead body back over there. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know what's happening in that car over there. Uh-oh. All right. Actually, man, this is a pretty cool scenic route, guys. Uh, there's that creepy haunted house that the guy was shacking up in that told us to go and leave. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Looks like it wants us to go straight down. <gasps> no outlet. That's where it wants us to go, right there. What? Yeah. It's always like a dead end and no outlet. Well, wait. The, the train station was from the 1800s. We passed some history. Yeah, just, just coming right here. Okay, so the pinpoint is like right here in this area. If you want, like we can just jump out and look around yeah. real quick. Something lost in the past. I don't know, Jody. I get pretty nervous when I see no outlet signs. Dude, what was that? What? I thought there was just somebody. See right over there? I thought I just seen somebody in there. Are you serious? I like they ducked behind a tree. I wouldn't get too close. Like I said, nobody should be following us on this, but I did see, it looked like just somebody just popped behind that tree right there. Well, you know what? A lot of homeless people locally do sleep in these woods and sometimes they right. stand up so that's true what is this though what a little weird what the freak it looks like sinkhole. a sinkhole yeah the, dude wow that's crazy something lost in the past i don't know about that but it's a light bulb looks like a freaking Ooh. vintage light bulb what Dude, look at that. That's not a regular light. No, it's not. It almost looks like from a carnival or something. Yeah, that's unique. Maybe. Maybe that could be it. Lost I don't know. in the past. Yeah. Somebody lost their light bulb. That's crazy. Why would a light bulb be this? I don't know. That's really old. That is that was the thing. That was it. We're looking for something lost in the past. Maybe they need to lighten up. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna take that. I usually take stuff, but I'm not taking that. But that could have been it. That's a weird hole right there. That is really weird. All right, guys, so this is crazy. You know, right by that no outlet sign, there literally is an outlet. It looks like the start of a sinkhole. We saw some movement back here in the woods, so we are about to head out on our next intention. Restless entities. Oh, that's a good one. I've never used that. <laughs> yeah, that would be so cool. Restless entities. So, uh, spirits that are, are restless. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Wow. All right. We are getting ready to head out on our next intention, which is restless entities. Who knows where we're going to end up tonight, guys? But that's part of the excitement. Scaranoia is crazy. You never know what's going to happen. Let's go. All right, guys. So, new intention, restless entities. It looks like it's only like 60 seconds away. So I'm thinking we might actually find something. Look at the clouds, how they're just kind of looming there. It's crazy. They are looming. <laughs> Not moving at all. It's like the Illuminati. Ooh. <laughs> oh, maybe that should be an intention. If, if this one doesn't check out. 
I can I, I feel like my sketchy meter is going off. Like it's 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 coming. I definitely was getting chills when you when you said this new intention. I was like, uh oh. Yeah. I don't know, I just kinda of felt it go through me. Oh, there was something sketchy. There was like a person on that person's Did you door. See that? I saw yeah. That. Right? Who does that? Oh. Even these trees, like right down to the trees, that's sketch. Yeah, Woo. those trees are sketchy, you're right. We got the bumpity bumps right now, guys. We do not have hydraulics. This is uh, just brick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's on the left, and you're not gonna believe this. What? You are not gonna believe this. What? You ever heard of this place before? Ah. Uh... Dude, I've investigated this place before. The intention was restless entities. This is the Marador Bed and Breakfast. Oh it's wow! Haunted as hell. I think I've seen one of your videos from here before. Are you serious? That's Just crazy. the way that it looks with that light like peeking out oh over it. Gosh. You know what? Oh my God. Hey, my friend Kayla, she owns this. I'm going to call her and ask her if we can go inside. <gasps> you guys have never been in here, right? We haven't, no. I've never been. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give her a call and I'm going to see if we can get in real quick, guys. If we can get in here, I guarantee you we'll find restless entities. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we'll really turn shit up a notch. I'm going to give her a holler. Okay guys, so Jody was able to get us in here. His good friend Kayla, who is the owner of the Mirador, was nice enough to buzz us in. This place is amazing. I'm so excited that you brought us here tonight, Jody. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Shout out to Kayla. Thank you for letting us in here tonight to your beautiful bed and breakfast. Guys, if you happen to be in Florida and you're on vacation, you have an extra day to spare, come stay here. This is beautiful. Trust me, you won't regret it. <gasps> What? You are so right. This is no, insane! No. It just got so oh bright. My God. What? Okay. Talk about restless spirits. I don't know if they're restless or, or what. They're super active. I just heard something behind you, Jody. Dude, it's freaking cold. It's gonna be. Is it really? Yeah, kill this. Dude, we scare nodded right into a freaking wow. haunted palace. You can literally, it's almost like there's a line, like an invisible line here. As soon as you stick your arm in the bathroom, yeah. it's like it's like walking into a freaking refrigerator. 100%, 100%. A paranormal fridge. That was super intense when Jody was just in here and the freaking chandelier was like going off and on. That was crazy. Uh, we are getting ready to do a necrophonic session. Lisa and I are in here in the beautiful dining room. This place is absolutely stunning. Wow. Like, I think we're definitely gonna stay here sometime, for sure. We're gonna start the necrophonic and we're gonna see if anyone wants to communicate with us. Hi, Lay. Immediately, Lay came through. Who was messing with the lights a couple minutes ago? Can you do it again for me? <gasps> okay, we're ready. Go ahead. Can you make the chandelier or any other light go? On or off? <gasps> the light just came on over there. I did. That was off, right? Yes. The chandelier was the only light on it. Yeah. <laughs> Who did that? You turn that on. What? Yeah. Just trying to compose myself, guys. That was pretty intense. This was this. That was enough. It's almost like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. You just want that adrenaline. Like a little bit of adrenaline. you get a little bit, and it spooks you. But you want you want more. It's like you can't get enough of it. So. I know this is crazy. I know it is, guys, but can you do that again? Can, do you think maybe you could turn the lamp off? I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the light and see. Can you do that again? Light. Light. I said light. Light. <gasps> Lisa, turn off. <laughs> Oh, what? He said light. It took him a minute, but they did it. 
They said, whoa. Whoa. Wow, thank you so much for doing that. I know it takes a lot of your energy to do that, so we appreciate it. We won't ask you to do that again for a little while. They are also playing with their meter, I noticed. Really? Keep an eye on it. Yeah, it's, if you see Oh. Yeah. Can you guys light this meter up all the way to red? I just, I heard, I hear a cardinal. I did too. That is and it's getting dark outside, guys. Usually yeah. cardinals are not yeah. out right now. They're done. That's a, you know, a lot of you guys know that's a sign of a spirit nearby. Can you go ahead and light that meter up for us all the way to red? Just get real close to it for us. Wrap your hand around it. Wait, does this set it off? That doesn't set it off, no. so. No. Wow. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of energy to light. I know you can do it. I know you can light it all the way up. I know you have the power to do that. I don't know if you know that you have the power to do that, but you can do this. Just go ahead and wrap your hand around that meter for us. They freaking did it! They did, they did it. it! Okay, the camera's again. blurry. The camera is blurry. It's going again. Oh, wow. Now it's I consistent. knew you could do that. Good job. That is awesome. Whoa. Can you light it all the way to red? Oh, the lights, the lights flicker. just flickered again. Are they on the chandelier? That was crazy. Okay. It was lighting all the way to red. Can you, can you light it all the way to red again? <laughs> Something about lights. Go ahead and come over here next to me and touch the K2 meter. You got it to yellow. Try to take it to orange this time. You can do this. Well, the lights just flickered again, guys. Did you make the lights flicker? So crazy. Wow. I can't wait to stay here, Lise. I can't wait. And you know, it's interesting. I tell Jenna, <coughs> when you're actually in a building, <coughs> it's a whole different experience. Because you're in close, you feel like you're in here with them. Right. Like they're, they live here. Like this is their home. Yeah. And I'm serious. I, I can just feel chills all the way up and down. It's a different feeling. Right. You've entered their home. And I don't feel anything negative here. No, it's not really negative. I feel like just somebody shares the space here. This is their home. That's what I feel like. I mean, a lot of times you'll walk into a place that's got a history, which almost, I mean, let's be real. Every place has a history because even if the house is newer, the land has been around for a long time. So every place has a history, guys. And sometimes I do feel like a negative feeling. I don't get that at all in here. I definitely feel that someone wants to communicate with us, which they're they're doing. I mean, they're doing it with the chandelier. They're doing it with that light over there. They're doing it with the K2 meter. They're doing it through the necrophonic. There's a lot of evidence here that we are experiencing paranormal activity other than what we're feeling, like the gut feelings that we're having right now. So. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. What just happened upstairs? What? It was like a man was like literally just following me all around this room. Really? I could feel the coldness following me and almost like he was whispering in my ear from like a foot away, like everywhere. Like, like honestly, my heart, dude. Boom, boom. Wow. What about you guys? The lights flickered again. Okay. And then I was asking if they could uh, do the same thing like they did earlier with this light. Mm -hmm. And they freaking turned that light on. Really? Yes. It was crazy. And we've been getting all, look, we've been getting all kinds of activity with the K2 meter. They've been lighting it up for us, so. Wow. Can, can you make that light go off? Can you make that light go off? 
Okay. You know what? I'm gonna turn. light turned on. I'm sorry. I'm <gasps> Dude, you guys are kidding me. What? Oh! <laughs> you guys weren't kidding. Wow. Can you turn it off? That looks like a pretty. Well, I don't know if it's really. Look, Jody. What? It just oh lit up to red. God. Did it just it go to red? Oh! They are listening. Dude, it, it wasn't even this active the last time I was here, but the oh. time before that time, it was it was insane. Just like this. Right? This is crazy. Wow. Guys. It's a definite strong energy in this. I don't know if they're restless or not. I think they're oh. active as can be. Uh yeah. yeah. Like I was just telling Lisa, like, I don't feel anything negative in here at all. Like I it, it feels like this is just somebody's home and they're willing so to share positive. it with us. And yeah. I was saying the same thing upstairs. I was like, you know, every time I come here. I feel just overwhelming positiveness. It feels very welcoming. Like the spirits yeah. feel like they're welcoming us here. Like, you know. They just want attention. Yeah. yeah. Sit down. They just want to be recognized. This is so great. I'm glad that you got oh, this is awesome. totally unexpected. This guy. is amazing. What a treat. All right, guys. So Jody is getting his SLS prepared to try and use that and see what we catch. This is super exciting. Lisa and I have seen these on a lot of ghost hunting shows and we're stoked to actually see one in person. So this is really exciting. And I have had head. All right, so I just pulled out the SLS. I never have this with me and automatically it drained. It had a full battery on it when I first seen it. Alicia did charge it the last time she put it in the car. Um, the tablet's working, but the sensor is completely dead in the battery pack to that. And that's just happened all of a sudden. So, I mean, it's gotta make you wonder if our cameras are gonna be dying on us at any moment. We've Mine just did. I just changed my battery. Oh yeah, you were? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're already, our devices are draining here. We better go ahead and finish tapping this place right now. I think you guys are heading upstairs. Yeah, yeah we are. Okay, I'm gonna step out and get some fresh air because I'm paranormally exhausted right now. I can feel Seriously. you. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there quick. All right. All right guys, so we are headed up the stairs and it's so cool. Look at the window right above you. Oh, no, you wow. This curtain is moving. Well, you go first. Okay, guys, we're going to go in this room. What I didn't tell Lisa is we're going to do this in the dark. Really? Yeah. For the first part of it, anyway. Look at this bed, guys. I know you can't see it very well. Yeah, what? Lise, get in here. Open the door. I, what? I'm not. Oh, God. Okay, really? You didn't do that. No? Like, you went in and that door literally just closed right behind you. I, I was back here. All right, let me see if they'll do it for us. Can you do that for us again? Can you shut the... <gasps> Lise! Whoa. Are you serious? Get in here. I'm not coming in there. Oh. Wow. Lise! I don't know why they, I can't turn this off. It's like, okay. Literally, I can't. All right, how about if we turn the lights okay, on? Let's do, that. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, is this a peacock room? This is oh, gorgeous. My favorite. Look at the feathers. Okay. Now, Jody said when he was in here in the bathroom, he heard something. Wow, guys, look at this shower. <gasps> Lise, did you hear something? I thought you did that. No. Where was that? Is I don't that know. It sounded like behind, over here behind this door. Is where Judy felt that presence in this bathroom? <gasps> the lights oh, just flicker. They just flicker. I just felt something on my leg! What? It just felt like something touched my leg. Check out that rain shower, though. Gorgeous, guys. Look at this. And there's even a seat in there and everything. Ah, beautiful. I'm going to modernize an old house. That's the way to do it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. What was that? I don't know. It's over behind you. <laughs> they like you, Jen. It almost sounded like it came from back here. Oh, I love this. It does not want that door open. I mean, this is, this is incredible. Oh, 
And that's yeah. forceful. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, the door does that same thing at my new haunted mansion. I have this door. Really? That the spirits just do not want to close. Did you see that? Yeah, it, it very faintly. The light flickered. Yep. And it's moving. It is moving. It Holy is cow, it is moving. moving. The chandelier. Oh, the door's closing again. Okay. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Jody just came up here and shit got turned up a notch. Dude, we were supposed to be doing Scaranoia all night tonight, and it, it led us here, and this turned into a full-blown ghost hunt. It sure did. Incredible. Well, it's still moving. Yeah, it is. <sighs> that is awesome. Is it, like, swinging a little bit? A little bit. Very like, faintly, but enough to say, like, it shouldn't be doing that because, like, the air is not the reflection. like that. Look at the reflection. You can see it moving on the reflection. It wasn't moving like that when I was in here earlier. Wow. They got mad because yeah. we kept trying to open the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Guys, this was absolutely insane. We started off the evening doing Scaranoia with Jody, and that was pretty epic. But then we ended up here, and we just ended up in the middle of a terrifying ghost experience. And... I mean, why leave when all this stuff is happening? It's just, it was so intense. We just, we couldn't get enough. But you know what? It's finally time to wrap it up. But Jody just said he's going to take us out on some more Scaranoia adventures. So you guys can look forward to that. We're going to drop his link in the description right here underneath the video. So be sure, if you guys are not already subscribed to Mr. Hunting the Dead, you guys are missing out. Be sure to subscribe to him. Check out him and Alicia on their awesome adventures. And we will also include a link to the Scaranoia app as well because y'all got to try it. It's crazy. So we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you on our next Raptor, Raptor Adventure. Adventure.